I'm here unboxing the Terramaster F4210, which is a four bay NAS drive or network attack storage device that you can use as a home backup. Because it has four bays, you can use it in RAID 0, RAID 1, or RAID 5, um, and it can store up to 64 terabytes worth of data if you have four drives installed and you're not using any RAID 5 and each drive is, is completely used for storage. So Pulling it out of the box here, what you could see is the four bays clearly visible in the front. It's an aluminum shell. It's surprisingly light considering that it's a full aluminum shell, which is kind of nice. You could see you've got your panel in the front showing you the lights of the drives, whether the land's lit and blinking. These are the individual bay slots. It can accommodate 3.5 or 2.5 inch drives, and they have various screws to work for any drives. Let me slide this back in here. So they have a lock and unlock mechanism pull, to pull the bays out so you can put your drives in. Now, it does not come with any drives. They do recommend you use um, Western Digital Red drives or Seagate Iron Wolf drives, but you need to bring your own drives. It does support SSD and HDDs, but because it is a, a NAS, it's better to use the cheaper HDDs than using SSDs. I think SSDs are a waste in a NAS drive because you're too limited by the read-write of a NAS, which is meant for backup rather than performance. So it comes with a screwdriver, which is nice. It comes with a pack of screws, comes with the LAN cable and the power output for it. And a home NAS drive like the TerraMaster F4210 is used more than just for simply backup files. With the TOS operating system, you can actually install various application software and use this as like a home media server to serve up home movies. Maybe you ripped all those Blu-rays and DVDs and you want to create a Plex media server, or you can actually use Docker containers, install AWS, and sync it up to the cloud. There's a lot of software you can install in TOS. So it can act more like a home office for application server, not not just a NAS drive to back up all your stuff. Just remember that any drives you put in it, you'll have to format them, decide what RAID uh, replication you want to put in it for redundancy, and you're good to go.